what's good YouTube uh, welcome back to the channel this probably ain't finna be your average video you know what I'm saying <laughs> there ain't gonna be a fashion content right uh, on this video or basketball you know what I mean but definitely gotta chop, chop it up with y'all you know what I'm saying it's been on my mind been on my you know what I'm saying in my heart so I'm just gonna kinda speak on it you know what I'm saying I ain't the type of dude that I'm carrying it for if we blow up on the channel we gonna blow up God you know what I'm saying it's all in God's hand for sure definitely but I ain't that type of person that's gonna be, oh, this is this video gonna hit? Is this video gonna hit? I'm being myself completely on this channel. I ain't being no faking, no none of that. So I, if I feel like something, I feel like it help other people, you know what I'm saying? Or what I've been going through, what, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I've been through, and it's, it's gonna help other people too. You know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna speak on it. I ain't caring with no man, you know what I'm saying? And think it, and that's just how I'm rolling from now on, you know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, yeah, definitely still fashion. <laughs> my fashion vlog is on the way for my uh, on the next video after this. But we gonna speak on some real stuff real quick. So uh, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm just gonna keep speaking. But uh, I think recently, you know, if everybody know, you know, my my parents had passed uh, about it was in 2019. So probably about two years ago. But uh, you know what I mean. It kind of took a toll on me. You know what I mean. And that was kind of just. Had me kind of in my thoughts. So when uh, COVID hit, I was kind of just thinking of a lot of things where I was like, dang, like what, what, you know what I'm saying? Just thinking on a lot. I don't even know how to explain, but just, you know, your mind racing. And I was always that type of person. If a lot of people know me, I know my god sister, if she watched this, she know exactly what I mean. Like I was kind of the type of person that kind of kept things in. And I, be honest, I kind of got that from my mom, my dad, and which was wrong in itself. And I think a lot of people were, you know what I'm saying? To keep 100. A lot of folks or dudes or you know what I'm saying, let's say men, I wanna make it sound like I'm a preacher or nothing, but you feel me, like a lot of dudes be on some I know I used to do it hundred percent, you know what I'm saying? Where I was like somebody would ask me something, they'd be like, Are you okay? And I'd be like, I'm good, I'm good. Even at my dad's funeral, my mom's funeral, they would ask me like, Are you okay? I'd be like, Yeah, I'm good. I'd be quick to answer, I'm good with even them finishing the sentence. That's how you know what I'm saying, like I wanna say fake, but that's how like kept in I was. So even with that going on, bro, I feel like before we get into, you know what I'm saying, me chopping up with y'all, bro, you speak your mind, bro. Life too short to be on some, I'm good. I know a lot of, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of people in this world be portraying that, bro. A lot of, I don't even want to, I don't even know how to explain, but a lot of people be on that, bro. Like, I feel like it's a culture now, you know what I'm saying, to be, people be saying, oh, I'm good, I'm good. You know what I'm saying, who, who the hardest or who the, most coped up person who can deal with their stuff without other people figuring it out. Like, bro, that junk so it don't do nothing for you at the end of the day. I done did that for my whole and like my whole probably my whole entire life, bro. And I wanna slap myself so much for even doing that, bro. Cause I feel like I hurt people. I feel like I you know what I mean, just in the sense of, you know, not expressing myself, not expressing my feelings, you you know what I'm saying? And it ain't, it ain't gotta be on people. I always think that Man, you know what I'm saying? People gotta cry and this and that in order, you know what I'm saying, express yourself. You can just chop it up with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up and be like, be honest, bro, I'm not I'm not feeling good right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm you know what I'm saying, am I going through some stuff like for instance me, my parents just passed, so I'm still trying to cope with it, you know what I mean? So right now I'm not even you know what I'm saying, I'm not even in the best spot right now. But I think that that's a huge thing to do, bro. Don't even be on, you ain't gotta be on the same wave as everybody else, how they be rolling and you know what I'm saying? And I wanna say everybody else, cause I was on that same wave too, but you ain't gotta be on that wave, bro. You can be the one in your family, whatever you wanna call it, in your, your generation to say, nah, I ain't, I ain't going that way. If I'm feeling the type of way, I'm finna speak on it. Now, it's, it's a difference between like, you know what I'm saying, speaking on family business where you know you're not, you're not supposed to speak on it, you know what I'm saying? So, but I feel like that's definitely huge for a lot of people that we gotta start doing, you know what I mean? But to the fact I wanna speak on, I'm probably gonna, I'm, me and my brother gonna still probably do a, like a documentary or something so we can kind of speak on our life story of all we've been through because a lot of folks don't know exactly everything we've been through. Like people just think, I feel like people just think our parents just passed like any but other parents just passed, but there's a lot of stuff that was going on in the family that it kind of caused a lot of, I would say trauma, like a lot of, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff where sickness and disease was hitting, but it was kind of making a toll on everybody else. You know what I mean? So, I'm definitely going to tell y'all the full story on a, probably a different video or shoot. I don't even know, man. But 
I'm not even putting ads on this video at all. I'm not putting none of that because I just want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, just chop it up with y'all. So, yeah, if y'all watch it, y'all watch it, man. I'm, I'm really trying to help folks. That's, you know what I mean? That's so how I feel like this is be help somebody pretty, you know what I'm saying? Help his body in the best way, you know what I mean? But, yeah, definitely. So, what I want to chop it up with y'all, a lot of people will probably look at me, and, you know what I'm saying? See, I do a lot of plant based food. Like, I be doing a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Eating good. Well, I try to. I ain't the most perfect person, you know what I'm saying? We're eating good, but I be on it heavy, bro. I be trying to watch what I eat and stuff like that. And the reason for that, bro, and that, that most honest reason, bro, is definitely because my, my parents, like, uh, what's it called? Like, not only, like, it's been a lot of folks in my family that passed, bro. Like, a lot of folks don't even know my, my grandpa passed, my mom passed, my dad passed, my uncle passed, and... Uh, a lot of people in my family's past, like my grandma is still alive. She's, I think, 96 right now. And she, like everybody, and she's the, that's on my mom's side. So everybody in her family, she's the only one uh, pretty much left in her family. Like all her siblings, like her siblings and stuff had passed around her. So just that going in itself, bro, it, it took a toll on me and my brother for a lot. Cause it's like almost every day, not every day, literally, but you know what I'm saying? every every month or something so like we mom, we get a call from my mom like your uncle just passed away your grandpa just passed away this person just passed away i just got a call i don't think a lot of people know and uh the other day a person in my family that me and my brother knew uh passed away in our family also they called us uh on d on my dad's side had called me the other day uh, you know what i'm saying talking about it and i'm just like bro i, I think about it all the time like Bro, like, I don't, I'm tired, of, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of being hurt, in my, you know what I'm saying? Hurt of hearing people passing left and right. Like, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm so fed up with people dying in my family. It's like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm actually, like, pissed, to be honest. I'm pissed. And that, that's, that's one of the reasons why I just started I'm thinking, bro. I'm like, bro, what do these people be doing? Like, what do, what did like, 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 what did, like, what be going on? I be confused, like. Like, and I, I used to like kind of blame God to be honest, I'm being completely honest, honest with y'all. I used to kind of blame God and be like, yo, like, what do they do? Like, what do they do to deserve this? Cause they all nice people. They, they not going around doing the craziness. You know what I'm saying? They're not doing none of that. So it's like, I started to think on that. But then I started doing more thinking like, bro, the main, the main thing that we be passing away from or like dying from, bro, it's like what we be eating. Cause I come from, bro, everybody, I feel like everybody be on the same thing. I come from, a, I'm a country boy, bro. Like I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm a country boy. Like a country boy, I'm a, I'm a keep saying it, bro. We come from eating red hot dogs, you know what I'm saying? Sugar on mac and cheese, you feel me? Like, like yums, like sugary yums, you feel me? Like we come from eating all that type stuff, bro. Like, like every, single time bro fried chicken you know what i'm saying stopping at gas station me, my dad used to bring us to me and my brother to wendy's 24 8 on road trips we literally me and my family used to eat out 24 8 we never we like when my parents got sick we literally ever since then we didn't have really no home cooked meals bro our thanksgivings were were not even home cooked we had to order out because my parents were like so they were, they were like, they were still sick, so they was kind of tired, like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like we never had a real Thanksgiving, f f like, meal, food, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call it. So, just going back on thinking, bro, I'm like, yo, we actually, like, I used to actually eat crazy. Like, I would not eat no greens, no nothing, like, back in the day. And then on top of that, it's like you ain't eating right, and then on top of that, it's stress. So, I just started doing, like, a heck of research. I ain't the top. I ain't finna be on no craziness like <laughs> like i know each and everything about it bro but bro it don't be sitting right with me like yesterday bro like today like again it's a vegan it's like a vegan chinese food spot but it, it was still a little greasy like i'm eating it bro and it's like it just don't sit right with me bro like i feel like god doing something where it's like dog nah you gonna be the one in the family to, to break that chain of everybody dying but i'm just saying like as you gonna be one of those people that's gonna break the chain in your in your family. You're not going out like that. Like you gonna have to make a stamp. And then the people follow, 
they follow. If not, that's, that's going to be kind of on them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't convicting nobody. I ain't, if we still eating that type of food, you know what I'm saying? I ain't convicting to nobody. I ain't that person like, don't go out and eat. I'm like, yo, you eating that? Are you serious? I ain't on none of that, bro. I'm, I'm, I ain't close to none of that. I'm just speaking on my mind on what I've been through. So that's one of the main reasons why I be seeing plant-based. I've seen all these studies of people being plant-based. I seen a dude who had colon, colon cancer, you know what I'm saying, on the video. And I ain't saying, y'all can, can run it, run with it, how it is. Y'all can, you know what I'm saying? He had colon cancer. He only had a, I don't know what it was, but a few days to live, a few months or whatever. And uh, what's it called? He went straight plant-based, straight, just raw fruits and vegetables, bro. It got out of him. Like, he was not even going through it no more. Like, and I want to say, I want to say like this, it took a few, like, it took, it took a few years, but, bro, out of there. You know what I'm saying? And what people don't know, my dad and mom were trying to do it themselves. And I feel like if they did it, I would, like, and I shouldn't encourage, bro, I shouldn't encourage them. I still, I I don't be honest, I beat myself up to this day when I'm when I'm trying to do plant-based because my mom tried it and she was even feeling better. My dad tried it and uh one of my people I know, Sister Wendy, was saying he was get, he was feeling better just from it. Like he started to get better. But you know what I'm saying, it's not easy, bro. Like they kind of fell back to eating the way we used to be. And I feel like just from you know what I'm saying, just from all the stress and stuff. I think stress is a huge thing of sickness and disease also, bro. So I'm saying it's a whole bunch of things on top of that, bro. I don't want to make the video long, cause you know what I'm saying I, I don't want to be speaking too long. I don't feel like a lot of people be locked in <laughs> when to be on long videos. But you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, who cares? If you want to listen, you want to listen. But I mean, I feel like it's huge, bro. You definitely gotta like, definitely just kind of treat yourself, take care of yourself, bro. Cause I feel like that's one of the main reasons for my family where I kind of look back like, yo. We really, like, we kind of killing ourselves, bro. Like, and I, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that happened with my family, you know what I mean? Especially my dad in the NFL and stuff. But I ain't blaming nobody, I ain't blaming, you know what I'm saying? My mom, dad, nothing, bro. Should we, I wasn't aware, you know what I'm saying? We just going with the flow, but right now, bro, I'm on that type of time. I know, shoot, I probably got skinny <laughs> when I was, you know what I'm saying? During the summer, I was trying it out going back and forth so it, it wasn't nothing going on with me it was just me trying to try like try things out i was you know what i'm saying learning and stuff like that so that ain't what it is i ain't i ain't really tripping off what nobody else say i know what i got to do for my family i know i got to be in my family i know what curse i got to break in my family because i just i can't i can't see them i can't get them more calls no more bro. i'm tired of getting calls from people dying in my family so that's i just had to get that off my chest bro because uh, i had Another thing, I had got a, a call, not not a call, but I had, was going through my phone and I had uh, heard a voicemail of my mom and she was basically saying like, she was crying and talking and at the end of the end of it, she was like, we can't, word from word, she said, we can't hold hold things in anymore. We got to speak it. We got to speak it out of our mouth. We can't hold it in no more. And then she was like, be you, be free. And those are her exact words. So ever since then, bro, it kind of done hit me like, bro. I can't, I can't be the same, bro. I, I can't, bro. So that's that's just me. You know what I'm saying? If it, if this video help you, bro, you know what I'm saying? If you want to take it with you, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say again, appreciate the love. Appreciate y'all. I hope I, you know what I'm saying, at least helped a lot of people. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? And that's really just on my mind. It's really on my chest. So, yeah.